All right, and welcome back to Introduction to Film Appreciation with Mr. Henley. We're going to get this one, Unit 1, Section 6, The New Hollywood. And it's probably, we could probably break this down a whole lot, but we're going to try to get through this pretty quickly because we're starting to get into less and less huge, big changes, if that makes sense. We're getting into some changes that are more subtle and more um, nuanced in order to deal with here as we move forward so we're gonna um, get moving along here so time marches on we're you know we've gone through the early 1900s we're now into the 1950s and so forth so as time passes on you know 50 years at least of movies have been around now so 50 years in a person's life you're starting to see some of the older talent is retiring if they haven't already retired newer talent is starting to come up into generations people that have grown up watching movies and so these people have ideas they they are influenced by the people who made movies early on they also have their own ideas they want to make their own mark their own stamp on everything so new generations of filmmakers are challenging classic Hollywood movies and the court case with the United States versus Paramount Pictures caused them to lose control of the theaters. More competition was available for independent movie makers. Plus, there was a little thing called television that was also causing a lot of competition for movie theaters, too. Not that movie theaters were overly hurting, so to say. In the 1960s to the 1970s, that's kind of where we want to look at in this general, very broad area here. Uh, the baby boomer generation, which is the children born from World War II, which was in the 40s, these people are starting to come of age. And so these people are starting to enter into the workforce and so forth. And that's why you hear so much about boomers now, because they're at a point where they are mostly retiring or not retiring uh, because they feel like, you know, it's hard to find people to do what they are willing to do. American politics were heated. Things like Watergate, which may or may not have happened yet, depending on what we're exactly we're talking about. Vietnam, all of you know, wars and stuff like this are going on. There's just a lot of stuff going on in politics. I don't even want to get into that realm because that's not what this course is about. But Hollywood films arguably seemed increasingly out of touch with the audiences of their day. So you tended to see some other unique original films start to come up. Bonnie and Clyde in 1967 was a major film. It was done after the New French Wave, I think is the name of the movement. And they wanted to make it an American movie. It, it was. It had, you know, you know, kind of sexual candidness about it, some innuendo and stuff, violence just the way they handled things it was very different from what was accustomed it won over critics and it won over the audiences people were fascinated by this movie plus again it's this you know bonnie and clyde they're american gangsters it's that typical american genre easy rider in 1969 was set to a rock and roll soundtrack about motorcyclists the graduate midnight cowboy all these movies are just movies that kind of show a certain style of filmmaking and we could probably make an entire course just over these particular movies but it would be a lot easier if we were in a classroom together where i could where instead of saying hey have you seen this have you seen that because you know i may have seen some of these you may have seen some of these you know we could actually watch them together and then really talk about them we're not quite in that level so we're not going to get too deep into that type of conversation here but it helped spur new movements in Hollywood movie making. Older Hollywood executives started retiring and they started to, these newcomers were coming up. They were trying to make names for themselves. Plus a lot of these people were independents. They weren't part of the big studios that were producing things here. 